Hi, today I wanted to give you an overview about how to get started making digital scrapbooks through Mixbook.com. Up front, um, for full and fair disclosure, I am a Mixbook affiliate, but I have not been solicited in any way to create this tutorial for Mixbook. Um, so when you come to Mixbook, you will want to log in or create an account if you don't already have one. Um, and, but this is the main page that you'll come up to. So once you log in, it will bring you to your In Process Projects page. And then to create a new Mixbook, you'll hit Create and um, create a title for your Mixbook. So this one is going to be Spring Break Camping 2012. And you can add a description, tags, category, you can make it viewable by others, and you can also add contributors, which is nice if you're working on a book with multiple people. And then you click Create Next Book, and it's going to ask you to select a size. So um, for our big family albums, I like to use the square 12 by 12s, but for our specific trips, I like the um, landscape 8.5 by 11 ones. Um, but you can choose any of these possibilities. So once you've selected the size, then it asks you to select a theme. So there's many different theme options to choose depending on the type of book that you're creating. Um, all these different family options, cats and dogs, um, just a year in review, seasonal ones, wedding ones, baby books, and also travel. So I am going to pick the camping adventures, but there's also birthday and school books and holidays. So there's, as you can see, there's many different options. The nice thing about Mixbook though is that you have access to all of the backgrounds and stickers from any of the books regardless of the theme that you choose. Um, so once you've selected your theme, you can also preview any of them, but then you click choose theme and it's going to create your project for you. Mixbook, um, as it's creating your project, will open a second um, browser window. So if you have pop-up blocker on, you'll need to turn that off for Mixbook specifically. But the website should um, let you know that. So when you co open your project window, this is what you'll see. You'll see the this is the front cover of the book and a series of pre-populated pages. Um, and you can change these in any way at any time, add to them delete them so um, I will show you how to do that later on but the first thing I like to do is add photos to my project so you have many options for adding photos you can upload them from your computer from any other of these services listed here or also from other projects that you've been working on um, for today's example I am going to add them from my Flickr account so um, in here, I've already connected my Flickr account, which you'll have to do if you use any of the other services, just authorize that. But I want to use the pictures from our spring break camping trip, and I'm going to select them all and then hit Add Selected Photos. So it is going to populate that over there. So once you've selected all your photos, you hit Close, and you can see that all of your photos are showing up over here. Uh, <clears throat> so now it's time to get started making your book. So um, to begin with, you can either choose to do your cover photo first or you can come back to that later. It's all up to you. But I am going to select one of our, our cover photo, which is one of the family photos that we took on the trip. So this means that it looks like um, this photo is lower resolution. That's partly because um, I, these are lower resolution photos that are just uploaded on the web. So this is just for an example. Um, but anytime you see that, you'll want to make sure that you um, get a higher resolution photo available um, to get it good quality in print. Um, now you can move your photos within the boundaries that they've given you, or you can change the photo boundaries easily by just dragging it up again. And then you can undo any of those the things that you've done at any time or redo by clicking either of these buttons. So other changes that I want to do on the front cover is I want to add spine text. So I'm going to do spring break camping 
trip 2012 and I'm happy with the font and the color um, so I'm gonna leave that alone and for right now I am done with our front cover so now we're gonna head inside and we're gonna skip page one just so you can see what a two-page spread looks like page one looks similar to the other one so this is all about looks like all about the ocean and the beach and that kind of thing um, which is perfect because our first stop was a beach campground so you can see in this particular layout that is pre-populated for me I have the option to add six photos um, over here on the layouts tab you can change that to any of the other um, pre populated theme pages that they have or go about it on your own so I'm going to show you to do two ways first with pre-populated and then doing it on your own so we will just go ahead and populate photos in this one related to the beach so you just drag and drop your photos in there and put this one over here and you can kind of see and so I can once my photos are in here I can move it around, I can flip it one way or the other, I can change the effects of it, I can also change the brightness, um, and I can add shadows, change the border, all these different options. And then also you can send it backwards and forwards within the um, confines of the the so if you want something to lay on top of it you would send it back then you also can delete it if you would like you can zoom or reduce depending on what you need to do so like it like I said there's all sorts of options so now we put some photos in and I want to change this pre-populated sticker to something else it's not we're not fishing we're at the ocean so I am going to add text to this one and I'm going to type beach so you can highlight that so this is pre-populated to be white I want to change my color change my font to something different how about arctic and we'll boost the size up and then I'm going to drag it down here and put it in this thing. Oops, it's too big. So let me drag the size down a little bit and put it right there. So you can add and add and change any of the pre-populated layouts that you would like. So that gives you an example of how to use a pre-populated layout. If you want to create your own from scratch, then you add blank page. <clears throat> and it's created see how it's added two blank pages down here on my book line so now I want to say let's do um, I'm going to add a bunch of photos from our campground so I want to add one two three photos from that campground and one two three four photos from another so I'm going to put three photos on one page and four photos on another so I'm going to go over here and select a three photo layout. So I'm going to select this three photo layout for that page and then I select this page and I'm going to do a four photo layout on this page. Just like that. So then I go back here and you, at this point you could add your backgrounds in already or you can go back and add your photos. I like to add my photos first um, so then I can kind of see what colors are in the photos first before I go and start choosing backgrounds. And we'll add that one right there. If I wanted to just add this photo, say I didn't have enough um, photo um, options on there. I can just add a photo like that by just dragging and dropping it onto the page. So take that one away. So this one, I'll put over. So you can resize this one because it's not quite the right size, um, depending on what you need. So now we'll go and we'll pick some layouts. So 
are some backgrounds. So these are the different theme backgrounds that it has already populated. And here is some other recommended ones that they have um, possibilities. But then there's also, you can browse all of their backgrounds by clicking Browse Backgrounds. And you can search on them up here. You can go by, or look them by theme, also by type. Um, so I am just going to pick a different background. Let's pick this one. Kind of looks kind of beachy. And so if you want to put um, two different backgrounds, so I'm going to put this one on the other background. They can either be the same, different. It's all entirely up to you. Okay, so I have my backgrounds, I have my photos, and I want to add some stickers. So within each theme, there they have the same thing as with the backgrounds. There's stickers for um, within the theme, and then there's also all of their other stickers. So you can browse. I want to add some tree stickers to these because there's lots of trees in our photos. So I'm going to search on tree, and it's going to come up with all of their different trees. You can also do this through the, your browse stickers um, pop up. It's entirely up to you. So let's see, I like that sticker, so I could drag that one in here, and also let's see, grab one more. We'll grab this leaf, put it over here. Um, so you can see that as you're adding stickers, you can add they're added to your project stickers down below. So now that I have these stickers in here, I can move them over. I can make them cross through the, the spine of the book and land on top of the photos. I am also going to go down here and I'm going to add, I like our little campfire. I like that guy. Looks neat. That there. Okay. Then I also want to add some text. So I'm going to add text and it's going to start me out with whatever I did with the text last time. So you remember that we wrote beach earlier, so I want to use a different font this time. So I'm going to use the Chino font. So I'm going to start typing and I'm going to say camping at move this so we can see it. Mapping at me Hallam Bay. Alright, so now you can see that it's kind of light, so let's make our font darker and I can have it, I can place it anywhere within my page. Just like that. So the last thing I'm going to show you is to how to manage your pages. So say you've been working on your book and you realize, oh, I really want to put these campground pages um, in front of the beach pages. So I want to move these pages in front of it. So you click on that and you just slide it down here and it reorders the pages in your book. If you decide, oh, I just don't need these particular pages, then you can, can select those pages and we'll bring them up here and then you hit remove page and it deletes that page and then you hit this one and then you hit remove page and it's taken that spread completely out of your book. Um, so that's an easy way just to get rid of extraneous pages. The one really nice thing about Mixbook is that every time you move from page to page it auto saves for you and it auto saves while you are working on your pages too. So once you've completed your book and you've gone through and looked at it and you can preview it, um, then you click order and you can go ahead and order it or you can just um, save it for online um, viewing. So this is your overview of using Mixbook, getting started using Mixbook. Um, I'm really enjoying creating um, the books and the boys are loving looking at them. So I hope you have as much fun as I'm having. Thanks.